and I think that from a tips perspective, it's it's often overlooked. Um, but just like we did here, if we go into V2, we can we have the option to compare the versions between the the PDFs. If we go here, I think this is missed frequently uh, under the 3D. That option doesn't exist for us here. So the assumption is that we cannot compare uh, one model to the other, and that's an inaccurate assumption. Um, for some reason. Um, Autodesk decided to put this compare feature underneath the history section here for the models. So uh, why they did that, I'm not sure, but that's sort of the, one of the tips that I want to give you today is just uh, keep in mind that we can compare the models and I actually find it to be uh, pretty, pretty useful. So if I say uh, compare versions here, you'll notice that um, it's going to ask me which two versions I want to compare. And so if I had five or 10 in here, I could choose the first one compared to the, the 10th one and uh, it would allow me to compare them. But I'm going to try to compare this and this does, you know, require a little bit of bandwidth. So hopefully we'll be able to be able to do this um, over GoToMeeting. But it's really actually a pretty neat process. Uh, and you can see here what it's done is it's really already uh, analyzed this model, um, generated a, a list here of things that have been added, removed, or modified. So now I can start to go through here and see uh, and filter and toggle the, this information on or off uh, really quickly. So let's just look at the model here and let's take the removed out of the picture and let's take the modified out of the picture. So effectively, it looks like what we've got is we have uh, in this second version of the model, everything on the second floor has been added. So that's potentially additional scope. Now, this is probably anticipated additional scope, but it's still additional scope. And it's very, it's very easy for us to see what has been added to this model. Um, we could go through here by discipline and turn off each individual discipline um, and just narrow this down. So if we turn everything off and then we just turn, let's say, uh, architectural back on, you can see uh, what we've got there. If we want to turn on structural, turn architectural off, uh, those items will show up. So we have the ability to kind of filter by, by each one of these to see what's going on. Um, one good one, I think that, uh, I believe it's on the added. So you can see here under plumbing, the only thing that we have are these toilets that were added here in the middle. And it looks like maybe some supply lines or something, uh, or those, I guess those would be a drinking fountain, but we could supply or we could find out by simply going through here. So you can see, we could just walk through here and it's going to highlight what everything is. So this is a, a commercial lavatory uh, is what that represents. And uh, you can see it's just going to take us through each one of them, uh, zoom in on that one and fit the screen. So that's a way that we can actually look at this and review it uh, very quickly. You'll also notice that this is our only option is just to navigate from one to the other. If we go back to this page here, um, let's turn off the added and let's look at the removed. So We've got the removed listed here. Now keep in mind, it's showing two of 17 and that's primarily because I'm only showing the uh, plumbing. So let me turn all of these on so that I can capture all 17 of these. And you'll see these are the things that were removed from this project. So again, I can click over here. You'll notice that uh, changes between version one and two and it's showing me those uh, very quickly. So again, a, a really useful tool, but I like this one the most um, is just the modified. So if I take this out and I go to modified um, and I click on an item. So in this case, it's this roof assembly here, um, which is kind of highlighted in this light blue. Uh, the neat thing to me is that I can quickly toggle between what that was in version one and what that was in version two. So now it's, it's really easy for me to kind of granularly look at the, the different, um, the different items here and see what they what they are and how they uh how they're working and how they've been changing from version to version um so this is a pretty powerful feature again i am not a uh a model guy revit and uh, navis is not something that i'm overly comfortable with uh getting into so me having the ability to go in here and analyze this very quickly from a web browser without any expensive license or uh, desktop application to do this on uh, is, is really a cool feature uh, to, to give me access to, to this level of uh, the model, I guess, that I wouldn't have otherwise.